Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. And let's get to talking about this. When I was younger, and I can't remember the first time, there was a snack that I kind of liked, but also kind of didn't. The reason I liked it was I actually enjoyed the flavor. The reason I didn't is because it didn't ever fill me up. I'm talking about rice cakes, or oat cakes, I don't remember which, it's the Quaker ones, you know, you can buy them, I think they're rice cakes. Anyway, they're airy, they're light, they're full of flavor in my opinion, but they just don't fill you up. I think those are oat cakes. Maybe they're rice cakes? Oh boy. Already off the rails, already. Anyway, occasionally I'll see a company drop a new rice cake, oat cake, whatever. I'm now going to use them interchangeably because I'm just not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but there's this one snack that I found at an international market that I really fell in love with that uh, ended up being at a Kroger shelves a couple years ago. This is kind of a huge aside. It's like rolled puffed. I think it's rice. It's like sticky. It's delicious. It's very low calorie. I love it. But that's all to say, there's a new brand releasing something new and hopefully interesting. This is Drizzlelicious brand S'mores Bites Mini Rice Cakes Reimagined with Chia, Quinoa, and Flax. Now, these are pretty interesting because they're an attempted dessert, but um, healthier. These are, this is uh, back to what I was saying in that uh, Popper's Duo, these say enlarge to show texture, so they are smaller than uh, pictured here. Just 90 calories per 21 pieces is what it says. That's uh, crazy. Uh, five servings per container, quick maths, not great at maths, 121-ish, because 25 rounded up, that's 400. Then, yeah, so like about 120, 121, give or take. You know, probably some are broken. Uh, these are s'mores flavored, campfire not required. These were purchased at a Kroger. I got a text from my dad, who was pretty angry, who said I gave you the receipt. So I think I gotta own up. I think um, I accidentally threw it away. But I have been having the editor uh, go online when we don't have the price, so we can tell you the price from the location that it was purchased at, at the very least online. Since some of these stores you might not even have. I don't have a Kroger's near me, we have Mariano's. They sometimes carry different stock. If I did want to order things online, especially, you know, in a time of the nows, then I think that information is valid and fair. Is the light doing the thing again? Are you? It's like a watch pot never boils. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see it. But as soon as I, I do this, I think it has to do with contrast of colors, is what I'm now believing. Because it doesn't do it with my lighter colors, but with purple, blue, probably black, and I know it does it with white. It's, I think it's an auto-white correct balance. I could maybe figure it out. I, maybe, I, it's too much. Just know that I'm trying to figure out the lighting. It could also be I'm trying a couple new things. Anyway, let's get to talk, trying this product. I feel like we've talked a lot and I haven't even opened it yet. Smells chocolatey, but not, yeah, looking at this, those are, the Quakers are definitely rice cakes, my friends. But not, um, they're very small. Yeah, it's incredibly small. Smells a little bit like that artificial s'mores, which is that artificial marshmallow and uh, chocolate. Let's give these a try. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Hmm. Because they're so light and airy, I'm going to do a little handful, you know? That's what I'm going to do. I am pleasantly surprised. I really, really like these. They don't fully taste like s'mores. They have that chocolate, they have that rice cake, and there's like a lingering of that artificial marshmallow. But I like rice cakes. I like the texture, and a, that little bit of chocolate adds a nice difference in um, mouthfeel, because it's kind of smooth, and it just like, it really breaks it up very nicely. But overall, the flavor's good. 
And I don't mean to sound so surprised. I knew I liked rice cakes. It's just like... I mean, this would be a fantastic little dessert if you're, you know, watching what you're eating, or, or trying to at least. If you don't run a, a snack channel and have to eat chocolate every other day. <laughs> this would be good. Um, I do very much enjoy it. It is going to get a snack tech yas from me. Out of 10, I haven't had a lot of these savory rice cakes. I tend to go for, like, the cinnamon apple and kind of just the salty ones. So, I don't have a lot to compare these two. I remember that Quaker did do a chocolate drizzle one before. I think, gosh, memory is so difficult sometimes. And I didn't enjoy that. And I do enjoy this. And that has to factor into it. I'm going to give it a very respectable, a very solid 8 out of 10. But the question we ask around here is not how respectable and solid the numbers are. No, we, we just kind of add those modifiers, really personifying the numbers. No. The question we ask around here is, would you buy it again? And absolutely, as someone who still likes to have a sweet treat every now and again, a healthy alternative, to, I mean, 21 pieces. I know that's only like three handfuls, but I don't like to eat things by the handful. I eat them individually, like a little squirrel. It's very weird. Uh, so that would be like my dessert, and it would probably take like five to ten minutes to consume. Because I wouldn't just go... I'm not the ticket machine at Chuck E. Cheese. Rest in peace, Chuck E. Cheese. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just me, and I, 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 I kind of slower. So this is fantastic and would be a great thing to add to any diet. Let me make sure that there's nothing crazy here, like sodium or anything. Sugars, 8% for 21 pieces, not bad. I'm sorry that the last time I was discussing nutritional information, the Poppers duos, I didn't tell you guys that nutritional information, I just kind of kept it to myself. So I'll do better, especially if there's something of note or surprise. Uh, sodium, 4%, not bad at all, and definitely way better than a lot of other desserts. So yeah, this is incredibly solid. But remember to check the Instagram, the Twitter, I am doing better, ha! You thought I couldn't do better. I can do and did and continue to do so. And I'll see you in the next one.